Hello and welcome to Fortnite Vegas Hardcore Roulette episode 18 and today we're going to be mopping up some quests and hopefully starting a new journey outside of this damn town for once, for the first time in a long time. So the first quest we've got is to find some performers uh, for the tops, so there should be some in this general area, such as Billy Knight, he's right here on the strip. You again? You should meet my bookie, you have something in common. Every time I talk to you I lose caps! Tommy Tarini at the tops is hiring entertainers. I could put in a word for you. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, fifty. No, twenty. Ten. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Don't sell yourself short. You're worth a lot more than that. Whoa, jeez. What was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. Good. So that should be a decent amount of money. And move down to three entertainers to find for Tommy Tarini. Right, so it looks like at least one of our objectives is going to be in this area. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be at the Wrangler, because I think the performer there might be able to be hired. I'm not entirely sure. And there he is, over the back. What's his name again? It's Hadrian. Well, if it isn't my number one fan, what can I do for you, number one fan? Tommy Torini is hiring new acts at the tops. I think you can make good money. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garrets. They'll never let me out of it. I could talk to one of the Garrets and try and convince him to let you go. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Oh. I'd like to get uh, Hadrian out of his contract. Now why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. He's not the right fit for this place. You'll find better performers. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Seems a bit easy. I feel like I should have had to pay a few caps for that, but... Any luck with Garrett yet? Immediately, he agrees. Straight away. Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great. Thank you. I can remember where another one of these guys is. I knew about those two. I remember where one more is. But I can't precisely remember where the last one is. So I knew about the one that was here. Um... Who's in Nova that could be performer then? I'm not entirely sure. But either way, we're not going to be going down there for a short while, so I think it might be a west side time. Yeah, let's head to west side to do the coyotes, which is the quest that we start at the uh, Aerotech office park. And it's to uh, investigate some disappearances. And we're nearing on west side. Uh, I hope there's no danger from fiends around, but we can obviously deal with it. If it comes to pass, we are. Well beyond fiends at this point. Mind you, some of them in the last episode did give us a bit of trouble, so I probably shouldn't overestimate myself. Westside! So where does uh, St. James hang out then? Um, I'm sure I've heard... something about him before when I was here. Anyway, St. James. Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? Some people have gone missing. They were last seen dealing with you. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. Uh, I never mentioned Aerotech. You, you've been done there, son. Yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. And, um... Uh... Fuck you, you got nothing on me and Dermot. Let's have a chat to Dermot. I got nothing you need. If it's ass you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. What do you do around here? Me and my partner, St. James, work salvage around Westside. That's all. Your partner's called St. James? Because it's his name. He may be high strong, but he's all right. Hauls his half a scrap, which is all I need. All right, good boy. Yeah, beat it. I mean, they're obviously up to something. They obviously know something, but I don't know if they're guilty of making people disappear or if it's something less sinister or what. So let's have a look around their apartments. It'd be pretty embarrassing if we can't get into them now. This is Dermot's right. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Um. Piss off. Okay, uh, I need a drink, by the way. I need to. Get some sort of solution to this, because it's costing quite a bit of money. Uh, that's in yellow, so I could probably just read this. Um, does that say anything on there, if I look at my notes? So? Ah, uh, he's been selling people to Motor Runner. Yeah. Oh, I thought that meant 28 adult women, which, I mean, one's still bad, but Christ. 
Okay, uh, that's bad. St. James' apartment. I've got no chance of being able to lock pick that. Is it still a necessity for me to do that? Yes. Maybe we can talk to Pretty Sarah and ask her to unlock it for me because of her suspicion. I don't know what went on between you and Anderson, but leave me out of it. Uh, nope. Okay. As soon as that flicks are hidden. Hidden! He doesn't have it on him. What? Howdy. Neither do you. How do we get into that apartment then? Because I don't. Is it literally this quest is locked behind the lockpick stat? Which I can't get up that high. Yeah? What is it? Oh. That's not good. Hi again. You here to play? Do you know St. James? Sure do. St. James is my number one customer. He's a prospect who pays Marco to stay here at the Casa week to week. I don't know why his friend Dermot chose to stay here. He's never been with me or nobody else. But St. James likes having me close at hand. Does St. James pay you for anything unusual? A client's got a right to privacy, so it'll cost 200 caps for me to tell you all about it. Let's say 100 caps, or you could earn zero keeping your mouth shut. Funny how I make caps every time I open my mouth. Yikes. St. James has problems, that's for sure. Never wants me to say a thing or for me to move around either. Lately, he brings a teddy bear with him and props it on the bed like it's watching us. Ugh, it's creepy as hell. Not the worst I ever been with, but more a pervert than most. Jesus. Any touch you could help me get into his room? I do have his spare key, but I'm not sure if he'd like it if I let you in there. St. James can be a little crazy sometimes. You'd say no to a guy like me, and here I thought you were special. Oh, don't you dare play that game with me. <laughs> Fine. Here's the key, since it's so important to you. Thank you. You know you'll be back. Maybe. I mean, I feel like you've done me a solid there, so I'll have to <laughs> do you the my solids. <laughs> Yikes. Why do I speak? And we're in. Oh, here's the teddy bear. Let's take that. That could be some evidence. I don't think there's anything else to say, but... Okay, that's an option, isn't it? Go straight back to Captain Parker or confront Dim and St. James with this uh, evidence, so... Okay, Google. Heads or tails? Optionals, heads. Captain Parker's tails. It landed on heads. We're going to confront them. I feel like this is a terrible idea, so I'm going to have my gun loaded. St. James? We gotta go through this again? What's it about this time? I found this ledger in Dermot's room. You got his book? Dermot, this bastard got your book. He got your book! Oh, yep. Immediately hostile, which is unfortunate. Get three in his head, and hopefully Veronica could take that guy out because I've run out of AP. Oh. He's down in two. I can jump straight to bats with St. Uh, with Dermot then. Get one in his head and that'll take him most of the way down. Stagger him. No, it's not stagger him. Oh, Veronica. I've killed most of this town now. Oh, dynamite. Easy pizza in chat. Oh, I'll take that Robco jumpsuit for when I'm fixing stuff up. Oh, that police, that's pretty swanky. I'll take that too. So I guess back to the NCR sharecropper farms then, since we've taken care of that. Oh. Who are we in danger from? Is it fiends? It is. Close the distance then, Veronica. Is that not your whole point? You've got a power fist. So you gain karma from killing fiends. Maybe that's my way back to better karma. Because at the moment, I am still very evil. I am a fiend myself, which... Okay, sure. I'll go past the Monte Carlo sweeps while I'm out there. Maybe I'll run into some more fiends to kill. Get my karma going up a bit. That's a fiend. A fiend shooting silently. It's like a poem. Taking his leg out. Karma up. What's your deal? Who are you? Oh, you're a Scorpion member. Right. Um, so you're hostile too. So just, I, I was a gang where I walked in and I thought one guy was good, but he wasn't. Veronica! Well done. I mean, I'd have preferred to take him out, but... Sure. Obviously, New Vegas, or Las Vegas, survived because uh, Mr. House intervened when the bombs came, but he couldn't save as much as he wanted to. 
Um, so I think he uh, stopped some of the missiles, and the ones that his kill landed on Vegas itself, he stopped. Um, but who built this wall? How was this wall built afterwards? Because it seems to be very cobbled together out of random concrete and crap. But there must have been... This must be post-war, because obviously this is very ramshackle and strewn together. But, I don't know, it just seems... Like, it's never mentioned who built this. It could, I doubt it could be Protectrons or um, Securitrons, because they're too cumbersome, but... What, would the people of Freeside wanted to build this, or...? How, how were things just after the bombs, is I guess what I'm asking. Because I don't imagine with that many labourers in New Vegas, so Las Vegas, at the time the bombs fell. Tent to the aero flap tent. Tent flap to the aero tent. Tent flap to the flap aero flap flap flap. Who am I looking for here? It's the Captain Park, yes. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope Frank we can... Weathers. Something I can help you with, stranger. Uh, yes, uh, I can. It's about those disappearances. Some people have gone missing. I know, I know, I know. I... I'm sorry. But I've been telling you what's up. Have you found out what happened to those missing refugees? Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you. Sent James and Dermot behind it. They're dead now. How do you know? Did you find proof? I found the evidence in the rooms. They attacked when I confronted them. Oh, sick bastards. Can't say I'll shed any tears for them. Here, you've earned this. Thank you very much. So the quest is complete, straight up. I thought I had to do something about um, the gambling ring. So I've talked to Frank Weathers anyway. So I've just talked to Frank Weathers, and this is the first time I've ever got this quest from this side. Uh, his family were taken by Legion, and he hey. ran away. Um, so I just sort of said to him that you were right to do that, and I can look for them for you. Um, but every time I've ever got this quest, I've got it at Cottonwood Cove from the people in the cages. So it's nice to actually see it from the other side and see the, the guy who's lost his family in this time. But anyway... Let's carry on with more questing. Hard Luck Blue is going to investigate the pump station. I think this is the East Pump Station here. East System. This will be the East Pump Station. Into the East Pump Station. Dead. Oh, this is good, is it? Whatever's happened here, it looks worrying. We're investigating. I'm hidden. But I can't see a lot around that would indicate something's gone particularly wrong. Maybe it's in the other room. Or I could just look at the terminal, that might be logical. Ah! Some sort of data corruption has made the user interface legible. The damage done doesn't seem to go any deeper than that the pump station is still online. So I'm going to repair the network connection, I think. Start the pump station's network connection. Let's have a look at this computer then. Warning. Radiation has been detected by the filtration system. No leaks are detected within this facility. Please investigate external causes to correct the issue. That's not good. So we've got to go and find the what's causing this radiation. Right. Are we guided straight to that? By the looks of it we are... Great, it's a vault. Uh, I'll pick up the location, but I don't think I'm going to go in there. This might be the vault that on the outside has golden geckos outside it. Uh, if it is, I'm just not even going to get the location. I'm just going to have a look from the hills and then move back. Depending on how dangerous it is, it might be time to abandon this. It's a golden gecko. How close am I to the vault's entrance? Uh, I'm a ways. It might be an idea to come back to this later then. I'm not sure if it's one of the ones that you get given for this, but... Oh wow. We're already at the end of the quest I was intended to do for this episode. We can't lose any more of talent pool. We have to go south for that. Uh, life's coming up too quickly now because I distinctly sort of know the order I've got to do things now. <sighs> right, the order I've got to do things that I had in my plan was. I was going to do the New Vegas area, then I was going to do Red Rock, then I was going to take the road back round to uh, Novak, then to Nipton, and then go up and do the Brotherhood stuff. 
and Black Mountain, uh, get ED, all that sort of stuff. But before I go to the Brotherhood, I want to get Veronica's follower quest. And looking at the different locations, it looks like I'm going to have to go to Nellis. And if you don't know what Nellis means, that means going through the Boomer's Bombardment. I might have to look for a different way around that. Oh dear. I think we've got a chance of being able to do, or at least start, Veronica's quest without going to Nellis. Which I will entirely try to do before dealing with the danger that is at Nellis. Um, so the reason I'm going to the Old Mormon 4 is that apparently that'd be a way to trigger a Veronica voice line by talking to Julie Farkas or some of the Doctors of this area. Oh, while I'm here, yeah, the King uh, said you could tell me more about his robotic dog. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. The King brought him here for treatment, then? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. So you can't heal him? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. So there's no chance he'll ever get better? I didn't say that. While no one here has that kind of expertise, I do know of one man who might fit the bill. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, I don't think we've got anything else here. Uh, we, can do, we can do it other ways, it's fine. So I am not going to take their quests. Wanna get lucky? The That's the one place I'm not going to take the uh, the quest from yet. I mean, I might be full of rubbish, but I'm pretty sure it's important that I do this in the right order. From the way I want to do things. Afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Okay, fine, search. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons. You clear the inner. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Great, that means I've got to redo my hotkeys again. Gloria. Actually, no, don't talk to Gloria. That's the whole point, isn't it? Don't talk to her. Right, have you got any plasma rifles for me to have a look at? I'm just going to have a sh go for a dump plant. I'm just going to... I need a toilet. And I need this to wipe. I think I got it. So, on my way out, one wants to get out after repair mine up with that. So, after I've uh, robbed them blind, I'll come back to you. So, I am going to have a very quick chat to Gloria because I want to do some trading with her if possible. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top of the line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? What have you got for sale? Of course. I could sell the stuff straight back to her, great. See, the reason that's bad, that she's got unique weapons, means that this place needs to survive for a lot longer than I want to, because I need the caps to buy those, according to my own rules. Holy hell, that's a lot of energy weapons. Guess we dropped the ball on that one. Uh, Veronica? You know, I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. Why don't you do something about it? I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. So we only need one more trigger from Veronica Zero. and she'll start a quest. If I want to get all the unique weapons, as I said I was going to at the start of this, these can't die until I've got 50,000 caps. My weapons have been returned though, so that means I can do the repair I was looking to do. So repair this up. Wait, oh, 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 wait a second. I have some apparel I can use. Get the Robco jumpsuit on, and because you don't do this very often, this is quite important that this gets to be quite high in its thing. I'm going to use a repair magazine, but I forget what that's called. Fixing things! So, plasma rifle, you can go up to 
39 damage. Very nice. It's not quite the top top, but it's better than it was by a long way. And also, we can maintain Vance's gun with this. Which I'm happy just to keep topped up, even though it might not be, like, efficient. Oh, I could repair my dynamite as well, which is the dumbest thing I've seen today. Okay, so what I've decided to do... Is I'm going to finish off Talent Pool right now. Which will take me back down to Novak again. I'm not planned this well, you can tell. Um, and the reason I want to do that is that just over the road from Novak is Nelson and hopefully being in the area will give me my, my last Veronica point and from then I can consider what I'm doing a bit more carefully. So this is another case of I'll see you there I think. Oh the Vendatron's run out of money, that's the first. Right so I'm trading with the Vendatron but it doesn't have enough money to trade with me for the first time I think I've ever seen. Um, we have to wait for his inventory to refresh, but for now, let's accept that deal where we're selling a bunch of the stuff we nicked from uh, the Van Graffs. And we'll end up with about 14,000 caps, just shy. I'm trying to think what's the best way to, the best way for me to maintain my water supply. I mean, obviously I can go to places like um, Helios 1 and The Strip to drink water there. Which might save my life on occasion if I'm in the room low water. But the fact remains that I'm going to get stat debuffs and I'm not constantly topping myself up. Oh, this is HP with no reds. So, Sharecropper Farms is a good place to come. I think it's everywhere I know that's a good source of water in the north. The strip, there, just on the farms, and where else did I say? Helios, one. Helios 1's a bit further south. But it is a faff to get to the building that actually has the fresh water supply in. So I'm not entirely sure what's my best approach for getting water now I am officially going into the south. I'll sell my other stuff to her, some of these. You've got 10,000 caps, you can take all of these then. Very nice. And I'm going to set that trade there, she's not got anything that useful to me, but I'm going to buy... Nothing off her. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to sell her all that plasma, the plasma grenades in mine. It's just for 2,000 caps. Which is very nice. I'm up to nearly 16,000. Right then, let's head back towards Novak for the 12th time. And pick up those two people we were after. I believe one of them should be very, very close to this area. Keeping an eye out for him when I've been past, but he's right there. I've just not been able to see him, because I've been looking at ants and stuff, I think. Oh, he's on this side of it. That's it. Hello, fella. The Lonesome Drifter. Howdy there, partner. What's your story, stranger? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Nevertheless, I'm interested. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much, ever since Papa up and left. Wait, Montana? You didn't happen to be 17, would you? No, sir. I'm 28. Why? <laughs> oh! I, that was me being really stupid there. <laughs> I get the joke, so... The courier is suggesting that... The Lonesome Drifter might be the courier's... Son. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Forget it, never mind. So your father left. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Sounds like you're missing. Is that why you're out here wandering? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. It must have been hard growing out without father. It sure wasn't easy. Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. And what will you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Sounds like you should probably move on. Settle down, maybe. Maybe I should. 
Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Well, now you mention it, Tommy Torini's at the top, so I'm looking for musical acts, if you're interested. Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. Oh, I'm short on the bar, so I should have been wearing my gear. Here, take this card. Tell him I sent you. Much obliged to you, friend. So, we've got one more person to find. Oh, I think I saw an ant there. Yep. Take a wider berth, and we're going to go to, I think, Nelson first to see if this Veronica thing has got any teeth to it. Then we'll go back over to Novak and finish off the recruitment of those. In one of the first few episodes of this uh, series, I'm not sure if I left it in the uh, final cut of the edit, but I mentioned that it might be a good idea to learn the recipes for some of the drinks you can make at the cooking stations. Now, with this water shortage that I'm currently experiencing, it might be a good idea to revisit that idea. Uh, and start actually foraging for stuff, because unless I fall on a lot of purified water or a decent supply of it, I'm going to be in trouble later in the series. Especially in places like, you know, Lonesome Road, or if I get that far, obviously. Or in the DLC, I don't know a single place. I don't know those because I've never done them. Maybe because I've done the, uh, the quest in this area. She might not react there what the way I wanted to, but I'm hoping if I get to this area and stay here for a short while, she might speak. But I don't know. I don't know how it works. Ordinary guys with knives and bullets. <gasps> hey, you got a second? Yes. What is it, Veronica? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong. Or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. I'll take you back. First chance again. Great. Thanks. Thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. And we've got the quest. I could make you care. Brilliant. That's a way off me that now I've got that. Are you trying to think who it might be in this area? Who's an entertainer? I'm not, I'm not really sure who is an entertainer in this area. I'd like to see Boone up there. That'd be funny. This one. Ah, Bruce no, Isaac. Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. What makes you think that? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Aren't you that singer from New Reno? I think I saw you playing the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. So why'd you come all this way from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Sure. If you look for work as a singer, then Tommy Torini at the Tops is hiring. Really? The Tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. So, that's the last person recruited for Tommy Torini at the Tops. That is a tongue twister and a half. So now we've got to go and talk to him for that. For Veronica, we've got to go south. We're not doing things that go boom now. I've decided that you're not what's on... It's not on. You know what? Next time, we're going to go on a journey. We're going to go back on the first journey we ever went as this character. Go down this path, past Ranger Station Charlie, past Wolfhorn Ranch, through Nipton, and back up this way towards Good Springs. Maybe we'll even visit on the way. This has been Fort of Vegas Hardcore Roulette, episode 18. And from me and Veronica, let's say ta -ra. See you next time.